So in this quick video, I show you how to drill a gun barrel without having to drill the gun barrel. Hey guys, uh, here we go. Uh, this is how I drill out gun barrels, uh, and you'll see it's going to take a really long time here, so settle in. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, what I wanted to show you is that uh, you don't have to drill those out to make them look good. As you can see, these are two, uh, believe it or not, that have just been painted on. Um, I know this bottom one looks like it's uh, just a little bit oblong, and I might go back and fix it, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Uh, I was just going to show you how to do it uh, and show you how easy it is to, to fix if you uh, mess it up for some reason. Uh, but um, if uh, you're, you're drilling little tiny plastic parts anyway, you're going to have trouble with it uh, from time to time. So uh, instead of ruining a model and having to rebuild or re-sculpt with green stuff or something like that, uh, it's just super easy to fix it this way. So I hope you'll try it. So anyway. Um, these are two different ones that I have. This one here has been uh, done with the uh, metallic on the end, and then uh, this one here is done with the gray on the end, uh, but I'll show you how to do that. I'm using uh, scale 75 paints uh, to show you this one, but it really doesn't matter. The only thing you need to do is make sure you have um, something... Uh, um, you know, a black and a gray, or a silver, a metallic and gray, whatever you want to do. And uh, the other advice I'll give you before you start is just make sure that uh, your um, gun is not entirely just straight up black. Now this was painted with uh, Vallejo uh, German gray, which is a really dark, dark gray, or maybe even a little bit of tinge of blue in it. But um, and then it was dry brushed a little bit with some lighter gray, but that's it. Uh, and um, you know, I'll touch up couple parts of this weapon but then in this particular case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on some gray first and uh, I've just got some paint over here to the side and I'm just gonna go right over that barrel in the beginning and I know this is gonna wash it out a little bit but hey, bear with me for just a second okay. it's a pretty opaque layer and uh, as you can see it kind of goes on really bright here don't worry about that um, it will tone itself down. So I'm going to let that dry for just a second. I didn't use my wet palette here because I knew this would be pretty fast so my paint is kind of chunking up. Uh, but we'll give it just a second here anyway. So far it's just gray. You want to make sure you go with a uh, light enough uh, gray to where it really uh, has some good contrast with the black that you use. And uh, the reason I like to use scale 75 in this case is that they're both matte. With that being said, um, I do this work before I matte varnish my miniatures anyway, so it's no big deal if it. Um, is a little, a little bit shiny. Um, one of those I did with ink and the other one I did with paint so that's probably dry enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in the middle of this and I'm going to touch one dot in the middle here and depending on how big you want your um, uh, barrel to be and this one's going to be pretty big because uh, this is a grenade launcher. Just expand that dot. If you notice, that dot is kind of like a dot, uh, a, a um, just a pilot hole, if you will. So, um, that's about as big as I'm going to go on that one. You can see that um, pretty much that's what I have now. And uh, if you can tell the difference, it, <laughs> unless you pick it straight up and look right down on it. If you can tell the difference in this and a drilled out hole, uh, you got better eyes than I do and I think my eyes are pretty good. Um, if I did screw that up, if I put the dot in the wrong spot or made the circle too big or did whatever, I would just come back with that gray and go straight back over it again. Try fixing something you uh, you mess up uh, drilling <laughs> and see how much fun that is. Uh, I used to do Flames of War tank barrels and 
once I figured out this technique, this is something I used um, almost predominantly. Um, but, um, and, and by the way, I will use these for bigger guns as well. I know I used some on, uh, I had to paint some of the barrels of Imperial Assault vehicle, vehicles, like the, uh, um, not the ATAT, -AT, but the ATST, whatever, the, the little one that runs around. And uh, the bigger they are, the bigger the guns are, the more you can kind of get in there and within the black. If you look and if you Google on, uh, uh, you know, looking down the barrel of a gun, which is kind of something weird, I'll probably get some uh, uh, concerned friends call me on that one. But I Googled that, uh, um, and if you Google that and look at some of the pictures, you'll see that right on the inside of the barrel, you'll get kind of a little reflection too. And to me, it would be a lot like painting non-metallic metal, which I hate doing, so I don't do it that often. But uh, you know, it just wouldn't look right from some of the angles you had it at, but uh, this way is super simple. Uh, this gun is not finished either. I'll come back on the top, and I think I got a little gray paint on the top of it too, but that being said, again, you back up to about uh, one or two feet at least, uh, and it looks great. Uh, so again, let me show you just what these other guys all kind of look like together, and um, you know, I know that's the same gun, so I'll go in here and show these guys. I think that's uh, pretty easy to do, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and uh, keep watching. Uh, got a lot of things like this I, I can help you with that um, I hope you um, hope you get something out of. Uh, thanks a lot. See you next time. All right, so I wanted to go back in here because uh, as I looked at these, I don't like how big this one looks. So I might as well show you how I fix it if I go over it again. Uh, this one ended up with a little bit too big of a uh, gun barrel. Of course, maybe, maybe not. Who knows how big those were supposed to be. But um, I want to show you how I'll go back in and fix that. So, super simple. Here we go. Ready? This is the gray paint that I had on before. And I'm just going to go right over the top. First time I did it, I did it with metallic paint. This time I think I'll just go with the light gray, the same gray that I used on the other gun. So um, even if it doesn't exactly cover the black, it's okay as long as I get most of the black out of the way. Okay. Just give that a second to dry there and I'll come back and fix that. take very long and uh, for these scale 75s to, to dry uh, on the mini um, if it's as dry as it is in this room right now so I think it's pretty much ready so again I'm going to go right back in the middle start with a little pilot dot and then kind of make it a little bit bigger This is a cheap brush, by the way. It's not that big of a deal. What kind of brush you use, as long as the tip is really good. Now I'm going to start to expand the circle a little bit more here. Good way to hold your uh, brush really steady to brace your forearms on the table that you're painting onto. If you zoom in really close, you can tell uh, um, when you mess up, mess up things, but if you back up to a normal distance, that's going to be fine. So, okay, again, I'll let you go again. Um, like or subscribe, uh, all that stays the same, I guess. All right, thanks a lot, guys. So this is Beckett. Um, say hi, Beckett. Hi. Okay, say, um, please subscribe to my dad's channel. Please subscribe to my dad's channel. Good enough. Good enough.